Before this video starts, I'd like to say hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can join the notification squad and comment down below for a chance at winning a shout out in the next video. What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today I have something super awesome for you guys for the Xbox One players. So have you ever wanted to play on a MCPE server on the Xbox One? Well now you can. So if you guys have been wanting to play some of these awesome servers, uh, you guys can now do it. Now you could do this on your Android, you don't need a PC, but I'm going to show you the PC version. If you need help trying to figure this out on the Android, I'll make a separate video later. But uh, with that being said, I'm over on uh, one of these servers on the Xbox One. So if I press the home button, you guys can see that I am on Xbox real quick. Uh, press the start button, I'm inside of one of those little servers with other players. Uh, and I could just run up and click on one of these guys. So I'm just going to run up to this middle one here. And if you click on... Uh, it pulls up a little GUI and you can go and play with the numbers of people and everything. So this is all on the Xbox and it's pretty neat. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and right, jump. Now that we're over on the PC, I'm going to show you guys how you could do this. It's really easy. It's really easy to follow and everything like that. Now, if you need a separate one for the Android, I could try and make a separate video. I'm looking for a way to only do this on the Xbox, but for right now, we do need a PC. If you guys got one, you don't have to own Windows 10. You just have to have a PC that you can kind of like uh, server hop kind of like with it. Uh, so once you guys download this right here, you'll need these files So if you go to the internet and you go to this link, which will be in the description of the video Just go ahead and go to this and download the .ex and the source code once you've done that You'll get these two just like this uh, Go ahead and go and come to your command go to CMD just press enter uh, Go ahead and take the .exe and just drag it in here and press enter um, Then it'll say your username and everything now. I have a text file this text file is exactly what you're going to need. So you're going to need to do your user, your name of whatever you're using for your C drive on your uh, desktop here. You're going to need to do the phantom.ex, which is what we're looking for. And then all you're going to have to do is get on the internet this right here, the server IP and then the port. So if I go back to the internet, just load it up and you could go to like any MCPE server that you guys want to do. So I have intgames.net right here, uh, which has 41 players. It's a German kind of community, but you could get any ones that you want. So uh, let's just go ahead and get this. Uh, let's see. Let's just get one out of random. I don't know. I guess we could get this one. Let's get this one, this Grand Theft one. So let's just copy that. Okay, so then we'll minimize, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this, and I'm just going to paste it in right here real quick. Uh, so all you would do is you would get this, and you would just take it from here, like this, with the space, copy, and then just put it right in front of there, like this, and then Control-V. That is it. And then you just leave a space. So I'm going to copy this all, press copy, go back to the command prompt, and all you're going to do is right here, you're just going to press Enter, and you're just going to press... Control V and once it loads that you're just gonna press enter now it's gonna start doing this all right here I have some some blurred out for my own uh, proxy and everything but yours should start spamming this little info on the side here uh, once it does that it's pretty much working so uh, I'm going to go ahead and just load up my um, Elgato real quick so that you guys could see that I'm on Xbox I'm just gonna move it over in front of everything uh, and you can minimize the control prompt so now there should be no more blur. Uh, so once this loads up, I'm actually going to drag it. All right, now that I got my Elgato loaded up, let me go ahead and just swing it on over right here. And I'm just going to do it like this. So instead of recording like 1080, all that stuff on my Elgato, I'm just going to be on my OBS and recording the PC so you guys can actually see that this is working. Uh, so I'm on an Xbox uh, and I'm just going to, there's going to be a slight delay. So let me go ahead and just click play. Um, and what you're going to do is you're just going to go over to your friends. Now, you don't have to do anything. Once you've done the little stuff like to load it and you picked your server, that's all you have to do. And then you just go all the way down past all these realms that everyone invites me to. So don't say I don't join you guys' realms because I do. You'll see a LAN game here. And all you're going to do is you're just going to join it. That's all you have to do. Uh, now, two things. One, if it tells you to download, there it might not work. But sometimes it will. Uh, two... If the server is not in your version, like if it's in a different version than the one you're playing on on your Xbox, it will not work. Three, if they have certain plugins on their server, your Xbox will crash as well. So 
you just got to test it play around with it and just kind of see what's working so it's a little bit behind it did load in by the way uh, but you guys can see that I am on my Xbox and I'm playing a GTA 5 so there's a little bit of lag so you guys can see because I mean it's not lag on my Xbox but because I'm recording on two different deals on my computer but anyway if I press start um, you can see I am on it on my Xbox here and if I just go to my dashboard here you will be able to see that I am quickly on that so let me just press B there there you go and we're on the server so it's pretty cool uh, I don't really know how you play this too much but this is the server and yeah it works so that is pretty much it uh, if you have any questions feel free to uh, comment and all that stuff in the in, in the comment section below uh, like I said I'll have everything in the description so if you need any help with that um, that'd be perfect I'll try and help you and all that but that is pretty much it